Hi everyone, Oliver and I are at the Huntington Library. We decided to come to the library on a Thursday. Every last Thursday of the month, the Huntington Library will go ahead and give away free tickets for the following month. And luckily I was able to get two free tickets for me and Oliver. So that's why we're here. We are currently walking around the gardens and then we're going to maybe head up into the library itself. It's been quite some time since I've been here and I love it. It is a very hot day so we do have our umbrella with us and we're just taking our sweet time before this entire place closes at 5 o'clock. So yeah, it's, it's quite nice. I don't think it's that busy. It just seems like a really beautiful day for a day at the library. The Huntington Library, Art Museum, and Botanical Gardens is a collections-based research and educational institution previously owned by a prominent SoCal businessman, Henry E. Huntington and his wife, Arabella. Oh. Did you know? No, I didn't know it looks that. looks like a banana. As you wander around through the meticulously curated gardens, the lush greens embraces you, offering a serene escape from the hustle and bustle of Pasadena. In the distance, the koi fish ponds shimmer with vibrant hues from the luscious surroundings. And beyond the lily pads and the paved dirt road, I could see a group of koi fish at the water's edge, as if they were waiting for my return. Do you think they think? Yes. Yeah? I feel like they're like doggies. So. <laughs> Do you see it? Right? And further up, I saw something else in the water. And so I decided to get closer to get a better look. What I came across was a giant, but not so giant turtle. It had the pointiest snout and the flattest back I've ever seen before, but decided to keep my distance so that I didn't scare it away. Wow. It was past the bamboos when Oliver and I noticed that people had carved their initials into the giant grass. Um, that's nice. Yeah, it looks like a lot of people have done it. And as we continued forward, I noticed it seemed like we were headed towards what seemed like subtropical gardens with their massive trees. In the jungle, the mighty jungle, the light. Umbu tree. A wimbuwa, ambuwa, a wimbuwa. Oh, look at this guy. Whoa, look at this guy. He looks so pink and blue. Oh yeah, have you seen your um, garden lately? Is Me it done? And, uh, Joe was looking at it yesterday. It's like, it's very luscious. Is it? Yeah. Minus the bonsai tree. <laughs> bonsai is like dead, long dead. Afterwards, Oliver and I have walked towards the Japanese gardens. Here, you can see a bridge and a traditional Japanese-like home at a distance, with bonsai-like trees surrounding it. And as you get closer to the grounds, there's more koi fishes in the water surrounding the bridge. Hello! <gasps> that one doesn't have an eye! It's a different type of gardening, right? No, you did not do that. What was really cool is that the building that we were heading to was a restored home, and it's a display to provide a glimpse of the rural life in Japan. On the other side of the house, across the steps, is where the Japanese bonsai garden is displayed. Here you can see the little tiny trees on pedestals. Oh, this is like the bonsai garden, huh? And as you continue forward, the path leads you to a small trail towards the bamboo forest. Here's a random fact that I learned today, is that bamboos are actually a member of the grass family. For some reason I thought they were trees, but they're really not. 
I mean, who would have known? <laughs> Further up the grounds, I came across this big white building. Upon entering, I realized that this was the actual library with many books displayed behind glass cabinets on the second floor. But on the first floor had unique collections that Henry E. Huntington gathered. There was a lot of history as he had an extensive printed record between the Great Britain and the United States. There also seemed to be a variety of books with intricate drawings. A handmade tale? Yeah, no, it's, yeah, it's all handmade. A huge book of birds, photographs of Yosemite, paintings of Native Americans, and Chinese scriptures. He had an array of documents and just books for anyone to see. Our last stop was the famous Huntington Art Gallery. This was the mansion of the railroad and real estate magnate and his wife. And it was also one of the greatest Gilded Age residences of America. This extravagant home displayed opulence. There was so much decor with intricate designs on the vases and then also on the furniture. And as you can see, many books also filled the room and the Baroque architecture of the home shows how lavish their lifestyle was. And as you continue into each room, you can see that they had so many beautiful things within the room, such as these chandeliers, paintings, as well as sculptures displayed everywhere. Unfortunately, the Huntington Library was about to close. And although this video was cut short, I hope you guys enjoyed my time there. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!